Well, parents raved about it. Their children learned Spanish at an early age, and they were excited about going to school. But that all came to an abrupt end recently. KT's Tom Jensen has been looking into the closure, the quick closure, of a local private school. Tom? It was very quick. Parents first learned there was a problem just last week when they were locked out of the Chiquito School in Cedar Hills. At just two and a half years old, Max Gore is bilingual. His mom credits his school. He loved Chiquito school. He, had a, he was learning Spanish and speaking more Spanish than English at home. But Ariel Gore and the parents of 40 students at the Spanish Immersion School learned the school was keeping a secret about a man who worked there. As parents, you need right. to know that... Oh, I mean, I just, I just don't think there's any wiggle room at all. As soon as we heard that there was... Um, any question? Any trouble. We weren't interested in going to the, you know, we weren't interested in going back. The secret was about the school's co-founder, Roman Furatan. State officials said they would suspend the Chiquito school license if Furatan had contact with any children due to a DHS investigation. Child care division told me if I, um, they will suspend it until I resolve the issue. And the issue will be resolved if I make sure that Roman will not step in the building during business hours. Co-founder Isabel Linez admits her ex-husband still interacted with kids, but says Furatan never harmed any child. And so, last week, she says she decided as a mother to protect her own children, she would close the school. I don't want the DHS to step in and take my children. It's just to think. I just, I say, you know what, that's it. Max Gore's mom says her decision was also based on what's best for her child. That one of the co-owners not be on the school grounds wouldn't have affected the program at all for, for them to follow that rule. So I'm not, um, I don't really feel sorry for them. <laughs> Some parents tell me Linez owes them thousands of dollars in tuition they prepaid at the beginning of the school year. Furatan and DHS would not comment. You know, some of those parents paid almost ten thousand mm, dollars wow. a year to send their kids to that school. Tough situation for them. Yeah. All right, Tom, thank you. Yeah.